I'm not sure it's going to happen. Though. It very well so could the be a possibility. The theme out. I don't know why. <laughs> You're very famous, my friend. <laughs> Chips and Noir, they're loving me, that's what it is. Okay, so Picks and Bands underway. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> they're banning out Mad Life, oh no! Sin Syndra being taken away there. Mad Life has been focused. They're not going to be happy. <laughs> that is both of Mad Life's key known champions. As, as Crepo Zed pulling a Mad Life. The fact that Blitzcrank at Thresher off. Look at Mad Life, he's not happy. He's, he's just like, well, what, what, what do you want me to do? He was cracking up at first when he first saw them. But yeah, they are targeting the AD carry and support roles. Basically, Mad Life's like, all right, then I'll play Vayne, and you can take some other support for this one. Oh. Look, is it going to be Annie Brand? It is. It's yeah. going to be Annie Brand. That was one of the combos that was pretty heavily favored last time around. And actually, it looks like Team Ice are going for the double AD. So this is a big strategy by both teams. Obviously, the range advantage with Ice, but there is a big kill lane in Annie Brand. Yeah, it's going to be Fire versus, I guess, Purple is sort of the thing on this other side, yeah. if we want to stretch it. But um, this fire lane, actually, I believe it was used in competitive play in Korea. Uh, Monty will correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Frost and uh, KT Rolster used it, actually. And one of the teams won with it. I think it was <laughs> Rolster that won. So the great thing is, of course, that you've got masses of stun going in there and some really focused damage especially when he gets level six and that okay oh. game number one showed us that maybe we're not going to see too much level six play in these games the second one said okay we probably are going to and i think in the 2v2 when you have to get two kills rather than just the one but it could last a little bit longer on that yeah. It could, and it, it doesn't matter whether it's two kills at once or just two kills consecutively. That's all you got to do. Well, the champions are picked for this match. Send us a tweet with your prediction for the winning duo to at LOL Esports using the hashtag IceWin or hashtag FireWin. And, you know, seeing Doublelift and Madlow's face just at the end of that, as soon as they saw the picks, they were like, yes! So they are pretty confident that they've got this one. Should we change those hashtags to, like, hashtag purple win and hashtag fire win? <laughs> They have sort of a theme. They're going with the Arctic skin on Varus, at least, and the Arctic skin on Kennen. See? That works with the theme. Exactly. So it is kind of fire and ice. There we go. That's it, good. We're happy perfect, about actually. This but who's going to be the strong one? I mean, we could also see these play, although I don't think so. I, you know, you've got like. Just go with it. Come on, Joe. You farm, just got to go. AD with it. carry, and you've got a mid laner. They're both absolutely amazing at farming, right? They could well just sit back and farm to 100 faster than the other. Maybe but what they do. I think the fact uh, that they've gone for ice and fire theme comp tells me that the chance of fighting a lot is high. And if you are in an Annie Brand lane, you're looking to kill somebody. This is a stun lock lane. Annie sets up Brand very, very well. Usually Brand's combo is extremely hard to <laughs> land. And that's why he's not taken. Diamond dancing around the Erks and uh, <laughs> keeping that fire going. I wonder who chose who was going to play who here, because it's Diamond that came up with the ta tactic. I think he's just I'm Brent. You're, you are on any. <laughs> well, judging by the way that he made Bjergsen play this game uh, with him and just said, I'm the captain, you're playing yeah. with me, and that's how it's going to be. It's very possible that he did say, I'm playing Brandon, you're Annie. So do you think that he will be the carry and Bjergsen will be his support this time around, <laughs> beating over CS? Let's see who they focus CS on, or if it's just every man for himself. Well, everybody seems to think Fire could win this one. They had the vote there, just close to 60%. And this is going to be the problem. It's like, while you say the ranged AD champions, these are both very high ranged AP champions as well. Oh, bit of damage being exchanged there at the very start of things. Early CS advantage did go over onto fire, but that's pretty much not even the end of the first wave here. And there we see five, two, it's gonna be five. I can't see double lift missing this CS. So yeah, five, five after that first wave coming in. Pretty decent job on that one. Bjergsen has a stun worked up here, so they need to be a little bit careful. Positioning around these minions is extremely important, especially for Team Fire. If they can avoid the harass from Mad Life early, well, oh, it's all on double lift. There's the stun lock. The exhaust is going to be used on both sides. We can see Bjergsen, Mad Life's all over him. Dead. One more Shuriken comes in, and now Diamond's in trouble. The long range from double lift, but he goes down. But Mad Life can finish the game right here. One more Shuriken threading through. One more oh! Bjergsen. and saves in life. Diamond may go for this. Absolutely insane stuff here. That would have ended the game, it, whether that was Mad Life going down or Diamond going down. So, so very, very close. Healing relics are about to come up. Uh, they also restore 
some resource for your champion. So if Diamond had been able to get that, it would also give him mana back. Uh, but he has to go back to the base, get back to full life, because the next person to go down, doesn't matter who it is, is going to lose the game. So Mad Life actually stuck around from this one. He decided not to recall out and get himself back up to full HP. So he would be the obvious target, a little bit more mobile, but if you can chain those stuns onto him, it doesn't really matter how mobile you are. Summoner spells as well. Bjergsen still has flash, so there's still a flash stun possibility for him. Well, Diamond actually went back and got himself a Doran's Blade for this one. They need to make sure they can keep up with the CS, as you mentioned. We saw already in game one, with, uh, game two, sorry, with Cool. Once they get that CS advantage, it's very hard to catch back up, especially against 280 carries. Yeah, and as of uh, the matchup so far, we basically do see it playing out as expected. Mad Life was the one to get the kill, and Double Lift actually came back okay. in and got killed. So all in, Bjergsen looking for this one. He's got Flash available, he's got the stun ready. Surely they can pop someone on ice quicker than ice can return the damage. The AD carries the time to build that damage up. Diamond also has a Doran's Blade on top of his red elixir. True. So the auto attacks from Brand are going to hit pretty hard as well. And the question is, because we've already got one kill apiece, there's a stun on to double lift. If I don't follow it through, I was going to say how it is obviously risky to flash stun in there from Bjergsen's side, but would that be worth it would they go for that one here would they dare go for something that ballsy it stage? absolutely would be worth it because they only need single target damage they only need to take down one person and they just have to rush it because all the summoners are currently down there's no exhaust that he has to get through no barrier no heal oh that's good oh. poke diamonds actually taken very low he's got aggressive on this one I double lifts on him but he gets locked up oh. and the kill such a close match the timing on that as well double lift his virus was literally drawing the bow back to throw that last auto attack out gets stunned up but we can see uh, these guys become good friends certainly over this last week and an important victory though for fire because that ties us right up going into final super 1v1 to decide it all